OK, so in chapter 15, you're going to see all different compounds. Right, how do you know the one you have is actually soluble or insoluble? Inside your textbook, you have this whole series of tables actually you to actually memorize. OK, personally, I cannot do that. I feel that's way too much to memorize. So how do you actually do the things? So I give you this table, OK, and the things that I re really want you to focus on are this. So four series of anions, OH minus, S2 minus, CO3 2 minus, PO4 3 minus, SO3 2 minus. Every time you see these anions inside your chemical formula, 90% of the time, they are in soluble salt. Make sure you be sensitive to the chemical formula. Okay, If you see this OH minus, S2 minus, CO3 2 minus, PO4 3 minus, SO3 2 minus. These are the five key anions, pretty much always give you insoluble salts. Of course, there are exceptions. Okay, exceptions are okay, 1A group. Every time you see your 1A group, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's soluble. If you see NH4 plus, it's always soluble. Another thing is actually, there are three types of anions. They are pretty much all soluble for whatever you have. Okay, so it's the opposite. Okay, so the NO3 minus, ClO4 minus, and CH3COO minus are the anions that will always create a soluble salt. So this two is always the soluble salt. The top two rows are always soluble. The bottom four rows are always insoluble. In between, there are actually a few specific cases. So if you can memorize this special case, okay, the F minus, Cl minus, Br minus, I minus, SO42 minus, C2O42 minus, and CrO42 minus. If you can memorize it, if you cannot, if you are not chemistry major, just let it go. But if I am doing this, if I cannot memorize all the things in between, I will at least memorize the halide row to see what are the important ones. They will actually form the precipitate. Another one is this formian. Okay, so those are the two I would suggest. If you if you feel like you have enough memory, then memorize those two rows will be actually very careful. So once you have this table, all you need to do is actually go back to your homework, practice, and see whether you can actually see the chemical formula. Okay, and then you can connect to this table. So this is actually very, very many months that you need to memorize. If you want, you can actually go back to the textbook, okay, and check out this specific section. You have, they are going to tell you all different flow charts, how you actually make decisions, which personally I feel is actually too overwhelming. But if you can memorize this, four rows of insoluble salt, two rows of soluble salt, and two rows of special case, I think you will be fine.